On ready var and export, now require an at symbol in front of them. And also you can declare the type with a colon, instead of in 3.5 where you had to use parentheses to declare types. Signals are now a lot easier to work with. Let's say I have a signal in one file that's called go to menu. In order to connect it, you type where the signal comes from, the signal name, dot connect, and you no longer need to put a string here. You could just pass the function name directly. If you need to pass any parameters, you could just use dot bind. There is no longer a separate y sort node. Instead, each node has their own ordering property where you can enable Y sort. The tile map are one of the biggest changes in Godot 4.0. When you create your new tile set, put the tile size, and there are two new tabs the tile set and tile map. When you drag in your tile set here, it'll automatically recognize which tiles are available. It might make some mistakes if a tile takes up more than one, but you can change that easily. There are also some new properties you can mess around with. My favorite is the custom data layer. Let's make this is harvestable and make it a boolean. Then when we come into the tile set tab and click on a tile, we can then mess with these variables. For instance, is harvestable is now available here and we can make the tree and the rocks harvestable, etc. You can also mess around with some other properties. When you add new layers, let's say I want to add a grass layer and a tree layer, notice the Y sort options that are also available here. Then when you want to draw your tile, come here and you can draw. I also like the scattering option. You can select multiple tiles and it'll automatically scatter the tiles around. There's no longer a kinematic body 2D node. Instead, we have a character body 2D. Let me set this up really quickly with a sprite and a collision shape. And a camera. So when I add a script to the character body 2D, right out of the box, it already comes with the logic for jumping and moving left and right. So I can jump and use the arrow keys. You can see in the script it's using UI left and UI right for, the, for left and right and UI accept for the jump. If you want to alter that you can come to the project settings and go to the input map. And instead I could use my own custom variables. Jump. I want it to be spacebar. And I can use that instead. Also, notice how you don't have to create a velocity variable. It is a property in a character body 2D. And you can just call the move and slide function and it takes the velocity automatically. There are also some differences with working with files. File has now changed to file access. Notice how you don't need to close the file anymore, and you also need to create new JSON objects in order to work with it. You'll also notice some differences with the control nodes. Some properties are removed, and some properties were added like container sizing and localization for translations. It might look different, but it's very easy to get used to this new system. Normally when you're on the Godot docs, it'll automatically go to the stable version. But since we want 4.0 and it's not officially out, you're going to want to click the latest version. When you get this attention message, you'll know that this is the docs for 4.0. Thank you so much for watching. Godot 4.0 has absolutely blown me away. And once you start using it, there's no going back. So switch now and reap the benefits.